Oh, hi there. This again. So Cliff notes, if you haven't been following along, still can't get the converter to lock. We've replaced the converter solenoid, the internal harness. Um, went through the tune multiple times. I reflashed it to a different PCM recently. Still not working. On the advice of a few kind souls, they said, get rid of this adapter harness and just repin it. So I'm doing what I sh thought I should have done in the first place, but was lazy. This brown wire here is usually down in the bottom in this T position. The white one hanging is S. Swapping them out. Well, actually the S doesn't get used. It's gonna get taped and rolled back up into the harness. But um, that's that. Real easy to take this part and move those pins around. Um, going to put this back together and then we're gonna go try it. Excuse the wind noise, but no, I am really happy. That's reading about 400 RPM lower than the other day at the same speed. That means the converter locked. I'm about to show you why it wasn't locking. It's so stupid. So this right here, this is that adapter harness that I had. This has been the bane of my very existence. Sorry, it's one-handed here. I'm trying to my best to get it to sit still. There we go. So they had it pinned wrong. This brown wire needs to be next to the blue one. And usually there's a white wire. As you've seen earlier in this clip, that's the one I removed and I switched the brown for that. So all this time, I haven't been getting a signal as why the converter hasn't locked. I've been chasing my tail what feels like for, I don't know, easily two to three weeks and um, maybe more. But finally, it's fixed. And that truck can go back into daily driver duty because it's got less gear and converter than the other one.